Look what I found in my work mailbox. Now, isn't this cute? Ooh, what a pretty card. Let's see what it says. <gasps> Alex and Cinnabon. May this be a Christmas when all those you love have laughter and warmth and sweet memories to share. Happy holidays from Paul and Laura. Aw, they're a nice couple. Very cool. I'll have to show Cinnabon when I get home from work. Look, Cinnabon. We got our first Christmas card this year. Isn't that cool? Yeah, look. It's a Christmas card. It's to you and me. Mm hmm. Check it out. Want me to open it for you? Check it out. Look. Oh. Look, it's from Paul and Laura. Yeah. It says. Alex and Cinnamon, may this be a Christmas when all those you <laughs> all those you love have laughter and warmth and sweet memories to share. Happy holidays, Paul and Laura. Isn't that cool, buddy? That was nice of them, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell them thank you on your behalf as well when I see them probably tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I bet you want to play now, don't you? You picked a bad day to want to go outside before I left for work, but... What can I say? Cinnabon makes rules, don't you, buddy? <laughs> Goes without saying. Want me to turn the Christmas tree on, buddy? Turn it on, okay? You like it when I turn the Christmas tree on, don't you? Yeah, I'll go ahead and turn it on, okay? Let's see here. Ooh. Whoa, that's a loud register, isn't it? Ready, buddy? <laughs> you gonna come on and check on me? Make sure I'm doing all right? Little kitty electrician. Oh, look at it, buddy. We turned it on. And look, we have another card. Came in the mail today. I won't open it because it has people's names in it. <laughs> but I can show you. Look. Look, we got another one. This one's very nice. Season's greetings. Yeah. Two cards in one day. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I'll read it. Won't show it, but I'll read it because there's a sensitive information. May you and those you love find true happiness and peace this Christmas and into the new year. Happy holidays from Jim and Summer. Very nice. Yeah. You inspecting the bows? Hmm? You inspecting the bows, little buddy? Making sure they're safe? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Looks like he's bit off a couple of the needles. I'm sure they fall too. Oh yeah, look at right next to the Revenge of the Sith poster and the X and 8 handguard. Yeah, both are interesting. <laughs> you want to play downstairs, buddy? I'll join you first. I got to put the card on the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Where'd Cinnabon go? Oh, I'll be down there soon. Paul and Laura are grandma and grandpa to Theo. <laughs> Remember Theo the dog? I watch him occasionally. I don't watch him very much anymore because. He doesn't get along with Cinnabon, and we don't want to have Cinnabon outside all the time, especially this time. But I'll watch Theo again, I'm sure, if it's just for a day or two. Maybe someday we can introduce them to each other. Wouldn't that be cool, Theo and Cinnabon as buddies? Yeah, imagine that team. You guys could be like a bank robber team. How cool would that be? <laughs> Theo can be the distraction, and Cinnabon can be <laughs> can be like the person that actually robs the bank. Yeah, That's not very nice to say, but uh, the only reason I share that story is because Whenever I go to a water plant for work, I ask the operators there, what's the weirdest thing they found? It's because people flush stuff or throw away things in storm drains that you shouldn't. And a lot of the things that they find, you can't even share. But, just because it's inappropriate, you know, at least for my channel. But whatever. We're uncomfortable to talk about. But one that was kind of interesting is one near here, actually. They found money, cash money. What do you find occasionally? A drug dealer try to flush money or whatever, which is insane. Just you know, maybe hide it a little better. <laughs> but... They found money that was stained with dye. And you know, a lot of people probably assume that that's just in the movies when you rob a bank and there's a dye pack hidden in a bundle of cash. There's some sort of proximity that sends a signal to it and it blows up and it infects the cash with ink. So when you, know, when you go to spend it, they know that it was stolen. <laughs> so they had some money that had ink on it that they had flushed down the toilet because it was useless to them. So somebody robbed a bank somewhere. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Not too many, really, a lot, of, a lot of closed cases with bank robberies, especially today with technology and cameras. Yeah, it's not like it used to be in the 30s where you could you know, drive around, there's no FBI, no federal agency to get you. Yeah, it was kind of what people did back in the day, right? Yeah. Gangsters. Were you a gangster in one of your nine lives, Cinnabon? Were you a gangster, kitty? 
little Tommy Gun Cinema. <laughs> Al Capone. Yeah. yeah. I actually knew a person related to John Dillinger. I forget how they were related. Like their grandpa's brother's son, something like that. Pretty interesting. Kind of cool. When somebody has a last name Dillinger, you just have to ask them, Hey, I know you get asked this a lot, but are you related to John? John, Dill <laughs> John Dillinger. Yeah, it's possible my family might be a descendants of Jesse James. But, you know, we're not sure about that. It's possible. And I'm not talking about the, uh, the what's that guy? The white supremacist dude that does choppers and guns and... <laughs> I don't know, I shouldn't say white supremacist. I have no idea. He's just kind of a goofball. Yeah. He uh, cheated on Sandra Bullock. I guess he allegedly is related to Jesse James too. The real one, like the western one, so maybe we're related to. I don't know. It's kind of a D-bag though. Okay. Are you ready to play in the steps, my friend? Are you ready to play in the steps? You've probably been waiting all day for this. Me too. I look forward to this. This is just fun. Yeah, there's no drama. Oh yeah. Little bats. We gotta get a Christmas little wand. Well, you are getting one for Christmas. Oh, oh, no, I just gave away a present. Maybe when I'm gone, Cinnamon snoops around the house looking for presents. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he does that. He's getting a bunch of presents being sent. I made a pretty large order yesterday or the day before on Amazon. Some of you suggested some things. And I ordered some of those. That's some cool kitty stuff. Some of them take batteries, yeah. So it's going to be very interactive. Some of them I'll place around the house semi-strategically, too. So when I'm gone... He has things to occupy his time, because I do feel a little bit bad when I leave him inside. And I want to encourage him to stay inside longer, obviously, because it's safer. But again, I don't want to keep him in here. I don't want to force him in here, because the few times I have to force him inside, like if I'm expecting somebody that's coming over that needs to see him for whatever reason, um, or if I'm going to the vet, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, if he's going to the vet, I can't have him running outside, because there's times where he's out there for hours. And I, you know, if they make an appointment, or if you have something set for somebody to see him, you have he has to be here so i keep him in the house for that and he hates it i feel so bad oh look he got the end of it and he just freaks out he paws at the door usually he kind of gives up and if he wants outside if i don't let him outside he lets me know about it he's not happy about that so he'll always i'm sure be an outdoor cat unless he if he just wants to stay inside i would totally be cool with that but he loves it out there and i think what he does is he goes to his little kitty checkpoints because i notice him going to the same spots and last night i think he was a little sick too He's okay now. I think he just ate something weird outside or whatever, but maybe he just had a tummy ache. But when he's sick, he doesn't like me to know about it. And he likes to go outside and just deal with it out there. Then he comes back when he's better. I think that's normal for a cat. They don't like to show weaknesses. Or if they do, they... At least he doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, but you look better now, don't you? He always looked fine. He just acted kind of funny. Like he wasn't hopping. Like he wasn't staying in the bed, which is unusual for him. Usually he stays in the bed all night and I can get out of the bed him moving much and then he was just jumping out and wandering out so i let him out and he got whatever was in his system out now he's a good little kitty aren't you yeah being healthy yeah you seem a little tired dog because you're outside all day yeah mm -hmm. yeah here let me get this oh let me try i can't reach it oh there we go Ooh. okay oh there we go i knew you had some play left in you yeah Doo -doo. Taking a little bit of time off in December. Some of those days I might have to not. I might have to work because there's some last minute stuff that came up that really needs attention. Kind of a bummer. But, you know, if you have to deal with that, then you just know that you're going to take more time off later. So you always got to take a break, right? I used to not have an appreciation for vacation time as much as I do now. I used to be like, I don't need to take that much time off. But I think when you do something long enough, you do start to appreciate time off more. Because I was, I was always like, I'd rather just take money, not vacation. But that's... Maybe two years ago I would have disagreed with myself, but I think it's important to take some time off. It really is. It's, it's, and you feel better, too. You get back to work, you just feel better because you had a nice disconnect, right? Yeah. Good disconnect. Woo. I wonder if Cinnabon has a day job I'm unaware of. It's possible. Maybe he just collects mice for the needy cats that can't hunt. It's possible. He probably thinks I'm that way because he has left me some. This, this time of year in the snow, I don't really notice it as much. But... I did see one near a pine tree that I think he left me, but it was it looked bigger than normal. I just didn't have a chance to check on it, and then it disappeared the next day. But I think he's been leaving me presents. Yeah, haven't you? You've been leaving me mice outside. 
Eu nu fuaf, bă. Ia. Ce poți la fichiri? Aici. Eu nu fuaf, bă. Wow! My birthday is a few days before Christmas, and in a very old video, one of the earliest ones, uh, I declared that as Cinnamon's birthday too, as a convenience of our birthday buddies. The vet also gave him a birthday, I think it was like June or July 15th or something like that, so I don't know if I use that. Maybe I'll just keep it in mind. Cinnamon has, he obviously has a real birthday that I want to wear of. Wish I knew that, so I don't, so therefore he gets, actually works to his favor, because he gets birthdays all the time now. <laughs> Look at the little foot. Ooh, you got it with your mouth then. Ooh. Ooh. Bunny kicks. Oh, what a good little baby. What a good little baby. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, silly position you're in. Oh, now it's on the railing. Oh, bunny kicks again. Gotta get your foot. <laughs> I love how he does that. It's in their DNA. They have to clean themselves all the time, don't they? Yeah. You tired now, buddy? Mm hmm. You're tired. So what's that noise? Anyway, I will let you all go tonight. I hope you have a terrific evening, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>